And hello, hey, my name is Coach O. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Listen, I'm gonna be going over a full upper body exercise routine for you. It's gonna be some body weight strengthening exercises, guys, all right? We're looking at about three sets of eight for several exercises. It's gonna be a complete body workout. Look forward for you joining me. All right, here we go. That first exercise, we're gonna move those shoulders back real big. Nice little warm up here getting everything ready for these exercises. Strength training is gonna be a very important part of helping you to maintain an active lifestyle. There we go, nice and smooth. And then we're gonna reverse that. We're doing about maybe 10 of those in each direction. Three, there we go. Nice and easy, not too, not too much movement in either direction. Good, and relax. Our first exercise we're going into is what is a shoulder press, all right? So we're gonna take these arms and raise them up here and we're just pressing them up over our head, getting nice extension on those arms. We're gonna do that for eight repetitions. Here we go. Six, seven. And relax, relax. You'll perform this exercise for three sets of eight repetition. Here's our second set. Now the key here is also to maintain a slight bend in those knees and make sure you're breathing. We exhale on the squeeze and inhale as we relax. Exhale and inhale. A repetition, relax. You can probably start to feel that burn in those shoulders. And listen, we don't even have any weight here. That's letting us know we're getting some good work on those muscles. Here we go for that last and third set of the shoulder press. Again, maintaining a soft, neutral spine here, neutral in the knees, no hard lockout whatsoever, and breathing. Again, exhaling on the squeeze, inhaling as you relax. And relax, relax. Now we're going into some anterior raises. We're gonna be working that anterior delt here at the front of the shoulder, all right? Very good exercise for helping you to reach up to those cabinets and being able to take those heavier jars out or whatever you need to take out from an overhead position, all right? So we're gonna again perform this exercise for three sets of eight repetitions. Here's your first exercise. Again, stay and relaxed. Knees are soft, there we go. Breathing, again, exhale on the squeeze. Inhale as you relax. Eight repetitions and relax. Now we can feel those shoulders burning here. We're working those shoulders, we're gonna be working them in 360 degrees all the way around, all right? Giving us nice strength uh, in those shoulders. Here's our second set, anterior raise. There we go, congratulations, finishing that second set. Oh man, you can feel those shoulders burning. Let's move into that third set. Here we go, all the burn is coming. Make sure we're breathing here. Again, if you need to hang on to something, you can do these alternating. If you need to put one hand on the, on the bench or on a table or a countertop, you can also alternate that arm. But we're gonna continue on here with our double arm anterior raise. Very nice. And relax, that is three sets of eight repetition. Now we're going into our lateral raises. We're gonna be raising our arms out to the lateral side. Now the key to this exercise again is going to be pitching that arm slightly forward as we get to that top position, all right? Again, three sets of eight repetition. Here we go.
Again, exhaling on that squeeze at the top. There we go. You can feel that burn. And relax, that is the end of our first set. Now the thing about strength training is very important is that it helps to accompany those weaker or, or damaged muscles so that the accompanying muscles around that can help support that injured uh, area. All right, so strength training is gonna be very viable, again, to your success and lifestyle, all right? So here we go for that second set. Great job, let's do it. Eight repetitions. Two. and relax relax oh yes move those shoulders around we're getting ready to go into that third and final set of these lateral raises man awesome job here we go and go And relax. Again, congratulations on completing that, that third exercise, all right, for three sets of eight repetition. So we're looking at about maybe 15 seconds in between each one of your sets. And between exercises, you're looking at about 30 seconds to 90 seconds between each one of your, your exercises. So we're going into some rear delt work, all right? So we're going to turn to the side here. I'm going to pitch forward and I'm going to bring my hands together here. Now, if I need to, I'm going to go into a split stance, one foot behind the other, and I'm going to raise my arms out to the lateral side here for eight repetition. Again, we're going for three sets of eight repetition. Here we go. and relax relax now while we're in that position we want to make sure some key things are happening here that my navel is sucked into the spine as i'm in that leaning position all right my knees are bent all right now, if you do feel lightheaded or anything like that please have a seat during these exercises great job let's go into our second set here we go i'm going to alternate my feet because it's all about balance here so i'm going to put my left leg back this time hinge at the hips slight bend in those knees navel is sucked into the spine and I'm rotating, raising those arms out. Again, exhaling on the squeeze and inhaling as you relax. And relax, relax. We're gonna be getting ready for that third and final set here. Again, working the shoulder in 360 degrees here from anterior lateral into that rear delt. And we're focusing on the rear delt here in the back of the arm. Here we go for that third and final set. Again, I'm gonna do these with my feet together. We're gonna to hip hinge, fold ourselves in half, slight bend in those knees, leaning forward. Navel is sucked into the spine here. and relax, come to that upright position. Excellent job, excellent job. Now listen, we're going into some chest presses here. All right, so we're gonna take the arms and we're gonna raise them out to the side, to that lateral side here. I'm gonna drive my elbows back and I'm gonna punch them forward and bring them to the center here. I'm using a fisted position here at the end, or you can use a straight arm position. Again, three sets of eight repetition. Again, maintaining that slight bend in those knees. Excellent job, there we go.
Now the thing about the chest is we're gonna work it in three different areas here. We're gonna be doing some regular chest presses that we're gonna do, and we're going into some chest, overhead chest presses, almost like a forward shoulder press. Uh, and then we're gonna go into some down presses here, working on the outer part of that chest, all right? Here we go for our second set of those chest press. Raise those arms out, again, soften those knees, and press, one, two, three, five, six, seven, all right, here we go for that third and final set of those chest presses, raising those arms up, again, punching it to center for eight repetitions. Squeezing right across the chest there. And remember, if you need to, pause the video, guys. You can definitely take your time with these exercises. You don't have to do it at my pace. You can take your time with these exercises, all right? So now we're going into an upper chest, all right, press. So we're gonna take those arms again, coming from a, a more a downward elbowed position here, and we're gonna raise them up on an angle right up here. We're doing three sets of eight repetition. Now, if you have a habit of falling backwards and maybe that torso is pushing back, all right, we're gonna ask that you go into that split stance. We're gonna put one foot in front of the other. I'm gonna perform this next set with the, using that split stance position. Here we go. And press. Good, keeping that torso nice and high. And relax, relax. Now again, I like to make sure everything's nice and even, so I'm gonna go back and do the split stance using the other leg. Here we go, it's all about balance. And we're going into that third and final set. Here we go. Two. Again, exhale on the squeeze. Inhale as you drop down. And relax. Now you're probably feeling that blood flowing in that chest, that nice tightness in that chest. All right, don't worry about it. We'll stretch you out at the end, okay? Now we're going into our third and final chest exercise. We're gonna be working some decline movement here. Again, three sets of eight. And all we're gonna do is push these arms down and collect the chest from the outside. We're collecting that chest right here. Right, great job, great job. Again, pressing down like if we were on a countertop with our hands on that countertop, pushing ourselves away or pushing away from a table from a seated position. That is the position of our elbows here, coming up versus that angled position going to the upper chest. Excellent job, going into set number two. Here we go. And relax, relax. All oh, the chest is feeling good, man, no doubt. All right, gaining that nice strength here, increasing that body's metabolism. All right, Release it, releasing those feel-good hormones in that body. All right, that's what we're doing here when we get involved with this strength training. We're going into that third set, so hang on. Here we go, and press. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Great job, great job. Now we're going into the tricep. We're going to the back of the arm here, all right? So we work those shoulders, 
We've come to the chest. Now we're gonna hit the tricep muscle here. This is the one that everyone wants to do, you know, the hello, bye-bye. And we want to tighten up this area here under the arm, all right? And I got you right here. Here we go. We're gonna to turn to the side. We're going back to that hip hinge position. Notice I put my hands at the hip and fold myself in half. I'm gonna take one arm and brace myself across the body here. All right, that's my position. <clears throat> Again, navel is sucked into the spine, trying to keep my spine into a neutral position. I'm gonna drive my elbow up nice and high and straighten that arm out right there. Again, three sets of eight reps. and relax, relax. Now, we're gonna do both arms this time. All right, that was a single arm tricep extension. We're gonna do both arms and I'm gonna face in a different direction for you. Again, going back to that hip hinge, soften the knees, navel is sucked into the spine, raise both of those arms up and kick it back. Again, exhaling on the squeeze, inhaling as you relax. Squeeze in at the top, relax that muscle and squeeze. Good. Now we'll tell you a secret about the tricep muscle is a lot of times when you're squeezing on that muscle, it does, it is a rather large system of muscles here for the arms. Uh, and they tend to feel a little lightheaded after doing those exercises, especially in that hip hinge position. So if that is the case, I'm gonna show you an optional exercise that you don't have to pitch forward that you can do just standing. We're gonna raise those elbows up to the side and we're just gonna punch those arms out to the side here, just like this. and relax, relax. So I gave you some variations there. Again, you can choose either one of them, whichever one suits you best uh, for that tricep extension. So you can pick whichever one of those works best for you. Again, three sets of eight repetition and you'll be just fine. Now, here's the one you probably want, that bicep muscle right here on the top. Yes, baby, that's right, the sun's out, so the guns have to be out, right? <laughs> here we go, no doubt. I'm gonna extend those arms out to the front. I can do this in an alternating fashion or I can just do both arms at the same time. Now again, I'm very soft in the knees here. My hips are loose, all right? Navel is sucked into the spine here, keeping my spine in a neutral position. I'm gonna raise those arms up anteriorly, and then I'm gonna make a fist and ball, bring my arms back toward the side of my face, just like this. Squeezing at the top, six. Oh yes, and feeling that burn. So not only we work the back of the arm, now we're coming here and working on the top side of the arm, the bicep muscle. Here we go for that second set. Make sure you're breathing here and relax. If you need to take a break, take a break and get some water, all right? Pause the video, make sure you stay hydrated. Again, navel sucked in, soft on the knees, raise the arms, palms to the ceiling, make a fist and squeeze. and relax, relax. I know a lot of people think that uh, body weight or moving with your body is not an effective exercise, but in the bodybuilding realm, we use those exercises to create nice details in our body. All right, so don't discredit them, man. Go out and get it done, man. You'll be glad you did, all right? Now, from here, we're gonna finish up that third set of that bicep muscle. Again, I'm gonna alternate this third set for you here, just so you'll know what it looks like, right here. Now I'm going to 16 because I'm trying to get eight repetitions on each arm. And 
and relax, relax, relax. Now feeling real good right about now. Now I want to go into a forearm exercise. All right. Um, carpal tunnel syndrome is a big issue with a lot of people and it's a result of minimal strengthening of the forearm. All right. So all we want to do here is take our arms down by the side and we're going to curl them in and then bring them back out. We're going to curl them in and bring them back out. This is an excellent exercise to do with a regular water bottle you have in your hand or small weight, maybe three pounds, five pounds and so forth. Now I'll perform these with about two sets of 10 repetition. Everything else still applies, keeping that navel sucked into the spine. There we go. And soften those knees. As you can see, my knees, every time I squeeze, I have this little bop that goes on. It's just a natural movement that I get into a nice rhythm with that exercise. So I want you to find your rhythm and get into it. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> that was that first set. Now let's get into that second set for that forearm. Here we go. Now in and out is one repetition. In, out is one repetition. And relax, relax, relax. Excellent job, excellent job. So listen, we're gonna extend that arm out, get that nice stretch in that arm real quick and in the forearm. We're going to reach that arm out, pull those fingers down towards the floor, nice and easy and relax, relax. Again, extend the arm out. We're going to pull that hand down again, nice and easy here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now we'll hold these stretch generally for about 30 seconds to 60 seconds. However, it's not necessarily required that long right here. We just want to don't take some of the tightness out of the muscle right now. Relax. And let's go to the other side, pulling the hand down. And relax. Let's take it to the other. Again, extend the arm out, palm is to the ground and pull it down. There we go. Excellent work. I don't know about you, but man, oh, I'm feeling these muscles already. Now, listen, we cannot neglect our back muscles, guys. We cannot neglect those back muscles. So I'm going to turn to the side here. We're going to get a nice extension on those arms and we're going to pull it back, squeeze the those shoulder blades together. Here we go. Three sets of eight reps. So I'm going to start with a, my, my palms down to the ground, make a fist as if I'm holding on to some handles and I'm going to drive my elbows back behind me as if there's something I want to put my elbows up against as I'm coming back. Again, navel is sucked into the spine. Knees are very soft. All right, here we go for eight repetition. You got this extension and squeeze. And relax, relax. That is the end of that first set. Great job, great job. Listen, we're almost finished. Hang in there. Don't you go anywhere. Don't you let these muscles off the hook, man. Don't you let them do it off the hook. Here we go. Extend those arms and let's pull it back. One, two, three, four. It's okay for you to rotate those arms here, those fists. and relax, relax, relax. All right, we're almost there. We have one more set here to do and then we're going into some abs. I believe in finishing every exercise, no matter every workout regimen with an abdominal, some form of abdominal move, all right? So we have um, some abdominal uh, work that we're gonna be working on as well as some lower back work, all right? So stay tuned, here we go. Let's get that third and final set of this upper back. 
Worked out here. Here we go. Egg squeeze. All right, and we're going into that final exercise. Here we go. Going into the abdominal alternating crossovers. I'm gonna place one hand behind the head and all I'm gonna do is cross over and bring it back up. Now the thing about this exercise is not only do we get that crossover action here with the abdominals right there, cross crunching down, but we also get to raise the elbow out to the side and come back to an upright position and we're getting the lower back here, mainly the love handle area. All right, so here we go. We have three sets of eight on each side. So I'm gonna drop down for one, two, three, Four, pulling that arm all the way back. Five, six, seven, eight, and cross it over to the other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so we're using the resistance of our arm here to help us get that little extra uh, effort here in that lower back. Now, one thing you uh, want to pay attention to on this particular exercise, again, is make sure you're breathing. We, ex we inhale as we relax and we exhale on all squeezes. So I'm exhaling at the top and inhaling as I drop down. Another thing I want to focus on is, again, make sure the placement of my hand is very soft. I'm not here gripping my head and really pulling down on my head, my hands are very soft right here behind my ears. Here's that second set. I'm gonna start with this left arm. Squeezing the abs and squeezing the back. and take it to the other side. Excellent. And final rep right there. Listen, we have one more set of those. I can feel that tightness right here in that love handle area where everyone really makes that big complaint about those love handles, all right? So that is one of the ways that you can effectively uh, target that area. So here we go for that final and third set. This is it, man. This is the last one. So if you're still with me, man, right now, congratulations. Stay in there. Let's finish it up. Here we go. Starting with the right arm. Let's drop it down. Relax, relax, excellent work. Let's take it to that final side. Here we go, eight reps. And relax, relax, relax. Now one thing I want to address about that opposite hand, you can leave it attached to the side of the body here, or you can put it on the hip. Otherwise it'll, you know, start doing some things on its own down there. <laughs> All right. But again, congratulations, man, on completing this workout, man. I'm so proud of you. Listen, make sure you don't waste this workout. Make sure you get enough uh, protein and nutrients in your diet. All right. To build those lean muscles. That's what we're trying to do. Because it is a fact that we lose about 10% um, of our muscles every 10 years after the age of 30. All right, so when we find ourselves in our, old, in our golden years, yes, we found that we lost a lot of muscle and losing all those muscles come with a host of other issues. 
All right, so please get involved in this strength training. So I hope you enjoyed the workout and thank you so much. Thank you so much for spending this time with me, gaining an invaluable strength in those muscles. However, I must let you know, please inform your physician or please be cleared by your doctor before you participate in any fitness training regimen. Thank you so much.